There are tons of videos on how to get better at fighting games. Topics ranging from what type of game you should play, understanding footsies, gaming fundamentals, how to choose a main character, and the list goes on. However, there seems to be little attention paid to the importance of victory courts in fighting games. I mean, as a means of understanding the philosophy behind the design, play style, and tools accessible to each character. Well, it's beyond the scope of this video to claim, you know, universal application of this theory. But I think in Street Fighter V, in particular, Ryu, there seems to be a lot of details and attention paid to him that makes you feel, hold on a minute, I guess these are some clues. In Street Fighter V, my personal belief is the victory quotes about Ryu reveal the concepts, the playstyle, and the design applicable to him. Let's look into some phrases to explore what I mean. So when you put all the pieces of the jigsaw puzzle together, the clues all add up. And then we are able to appreciate and understand from the developer's point of view why Ryu should not meet your expectations. I mean, he's meant to be straightforward, honest, patient, he loves challenges, seeks to be stronger, and on top of all this, he actually loves to fight. With this information in hand, it becomes clear Wario is never going to be a gimmicky character. No connect, carry combos, no side switching in neutral, etc. He is actually meant to endure. And for that reason, he has been equipped with tools that sort of limit his potentials and sometimes do put him slightly in a position of disadvantage. I guess that's why he is an eternal challenger. Let's look at some examples of what I mean. His crouching fears is a very inconsistent tool as a means of anti-air. You could get punished or at least trade if you use this button often. So you have to endure and execute emotion input to get consistent results in your anti-air game. His heavy tattoo kick always puts him behind his opponents. Now, even though this opens opportunities for mix-ups and guess for games and the likes, it actually carries a risk of trapping Ryu in the corner. And this is particularly so if that opponent actually knows how to deal with the setup. With very short limbs, Ryu's neutral game will always be deficient. He really needs to work hard, exercise patience, get really close in order to pose a threat neutral. His block strings are maximum 3 to 4 moves and everyone, everyone seems to know how to deal with it. Finally, his V-triggers were extended versions of his basic tools. I mean, the fireball and the parry. They really didn't unlock new offensive abilities. Unlike the rest of the cast, that gained access to properties and moves that mainly resulted in extended combos and damage. I genuinely believe this philosophy will carry on into Street Fighter VI. As you can read, Ryu is still considered sincere and honest. So I would not be surprised if Ryu in Street Fighter 6 is not really different from his Street Fighter 5 version. With that being said, where does all this actually lead to? Well, I'll tell you where. The truth behind having all this information about Ryu it's the knowledge of empowerment that it gives you. In order to marry you, you have to make the conscious decision 
to embrace Ryu with his limitations. The benefit of this is you're actually going to get better and stronger by defeating your opponents with sheer will power. Alright guys, there's my take on winning statement and how they could help you choose and understand Ryu or other characters if applicable. Let me know if you found this, you know, theory interesting. This is something that you think could be applied to your character by sharing your thoughts in the comments below. Plus, don't forget to subscribe, share, and keep in touch, and I'll definitely see you in the next video.